In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you five different scales you can use in your Neo Soul slash R&B playing. So let's take a look at the chords in the underlying chord progression so we can understand why we're using some particular scales. So the solo is in the key of A and we start off with a D major 9 and that is chord number 4. Then we move to chord number 5 which is an E9. Then we move to chord number 2 which is a B minor 11 and then we play E alter dominant chord, so we play in an E7 flat 9, and then the A major 7, which is chord number 1, we resolve on that. Then we do the same thing again, but instead of doing that 2-5-1 at the end, we do a tritone substitution for our 5 chord. If you want to learn about tritone substitutions, you can check out my video up there. We play a B flat 7 flat 5, as our tritone substitution. So the second time round the chord progression is D major 9, E9, B minor 11, B flat 7 flat 5, and then your A major 7. Okay, so we're playing in the key of A major. The lick opens up with a D Lydian lick because we're playing the D major 9 chord, chord number 4, which means we can play Lydian. So that's the first scale. And we start by bending the sharp fourth of Lydian up to the fifth. The sharp fourth is the characteristic note. So if you target the sharp fourth of Lydian, then you get a cool Lydian kind of sound. Now the Lydian scale isn't so commonly used in neo soul playing, but it's not uncommon. And I think it's quite a cool appropriate scale to use. You can play it like this. You could also play it like this. Give it a go both ways. Then we move on to a pentatonic lick and I'm using the F sharp minor pentatonic scale. Seeing as we're playing in A major, F sharp minor is the relative minor. So it's actually the same notes as A major pentatonic. So you could see it both ways. So we're using the pentatonic scale. That's the second scale. And we're doing this little lick. You can hear we, we added that note in. That's the blues note which means our third scale is the blues scale. The blues scale is a really cool way of just spicing up the minor pentatonic scale a little bit, which is really cool. We played that over our B minor 11 chord. And then now for our E altered chord, we use an altered scale lick. And the altered scale is also known as the super Locrian scale. Uh, we play the E super Locrian scale over the E7 flat 9. This is how you play the E super Locrian scale. And the lick sounded a bit like this. And then we just do a little double stop lick with a little bit of chromaticism in there. Then more pentatonic stuff. Now, I really love descending all the different shapes of the pentatonic scale. So it's really important that you learn all five shapes, then you can play all over the fretboard. Then a little bit more pentatonic. So we're doing this two, five, one now, but with the tritone substitution as the five. Okay, so over the B minor 11, more pentatonic stuff. As you can see, the pentatonic is probably the most important scale to use in neo soul playing. It's just very applicable and you can use it over most stuff. Then over our tritone substitution, we are using 
the Lydian dominant scale. So anytime you have a tritone substitution, you can play the Lydian dominant scale over the top and it sounds really cool. The Lydian dominant scale is the fourth mode of the melodic minor scale and it sounds a bit like this. And then I resolved the end of the solo on the third of our A major chord, just to give it a nice ending. There's five scales you can use for your neo soul slash R&B, gospel, that kind of stuff. So you've got the Lydian scale, that works over chord number four. You've got the minor pentatonic slash major pentatonic, that works pretty much over everything. Um, and the blues scale, if you wanna modify the pentatonic scale. You've got the super Locrian scale, or the altered scale if you want to call it that and you can use that over your altered dominant chords and then we've got the Lydian dominant scale as well which you can play over your tritone substitutions so if you enjoyed this video please click like let me know what you thought in the comments and if you're not subscribed already please click subscribe and if you feel like supporting the channel you can join my patreon there's a load of perks there for you and I've also written a new book called Chord Charisma in which I show you how to minimize all of your writer's block when writing chord progressions, it enables you to create new and unique original sounding chord progressions that will turn people's heads and have a really big emotional impact. So go check that out if that's something that interests you. I'll see you in the next video.